Hey all you YouTube watchers out there, it's Maya here and I am going to be doing a kind of opinion video today. I'm not normally one to do long rants or anything, but I just kind of wanted to express my views on the Danish girl film starring Eddie Redmayne. So this film is currently premiering here in Toronto at TIFF and it depicts a character that goes through a transition and is one of the first people to receive sex reassignment surgery. So it is a very trans heavy movie um, with a very trans heavy role and a not so trans actor. So there's a lot of um, controversy around this topic. Some people believe that a trans actor should have been cast on it. Some people believe that um, a trans actor wasn't available or that they wouldn't couldn't have done enough justice to the role as someone as talented as Eddie Redmayne or that it would be unfair to make a transgender woman detransition in order to play the part but my opinion kind of disregards most of that I think that a trans woman should have been selected for the part because we see such a washing of white heteronormative cisgender males playing all of these trans roles that should be played by trans people in order to inspire other trans people. So you see people like Jeffrey Tambor in Transparent, Jared Leto in The Dallas Buyers Club, you see even Felicity Hoffman in Trans America, you see all of these famous actors who are not trans playing these roles, they give it all they've got, I'm not denying that, but what I'm saying is that it also eliminates any opportunity for trans people to play trans roles. Like our chances of playing non-trans roles are so far and few between, and when we can't even play our own people, then how are we going to have any roles at the end of the day? And I think that in many ways it's wrong for a cisgender person to portray trans people because they can never know the experience. They will never know what someone who's trans goes through and anything that they portray on screen is merely from their own empathy. It's not from a place of truth. And they can hang up their costume at the end of the day because that's really all it is. And they can go back to their lives and enjoy who they are after a good pat on the back, maybe an Academy Award. And that's the other thing. I, I feel as though so many of the actors choose these roles because they know they're gonna get accolades. Like, deny yourself the Oscar then if that's not what you care about. Um, I think that it's ridiculous that people base talent off of how different someone can appear or how extreme of a role someone can do. I personally think that cisgender people playing trans people is in the same strand of thought as a white person portraying a black person in a film. White people will never know the struggles and hardships of a black person, of racism in America, or of any color people or ethnic people in general. Are you gonna put on blackface? Are you gonna make a costume of them and then try to use your best empathetic skills to portray their struggle? No, you're not. You're gonna allow them to voice their own struggle. And so that's why I believe that trans people should be given the opportunity to voice their own struggle. I am very appreciative of the press and of the awareness that something like The Danish Girl with Eddie Redmayne um, receives. It helps spread awareness, but I believe that trans people are mostly done with awareness now. Well, I wouldn't say they're done with awareness, but I'd say that the word transgender is a lot more common now, and I think that we can expand beyond just awareness now. I think we need um, more acceptance and more knowledge, and I think that the excuse of a trans person not being able to detransition is very faulty. I think that there are definitely people out there who will detransition, and I don't think I would even refer to it as detransitioning. They're not getting surgeries to play this role. They're not um, stopping hormones to play this role. They are reverting 
to a, a male lifestyle um, in order to portray a character who eventually goes through a transformation that they can identify with, but they're not physically altering themselves in any way. I know for myself that if I had a role like that, I would not mind going back and reverting to a male appearance in order to convey a story that has great meaning for the trans community and that can spread great hope. So I think that I am going to not watch The Danish Girl because I believe that trans actors should be hired to play trans roles. And I do not think that it is fair what Hollywood is doing. That being said, I have nothing against any of the people um, who have portrayed trans characters. I just wish that my views were more, I don't know, understood. So I hope that some of my viewers find some truth or that you agree in some little way with any of the points that I've made in this video. Even if you don't, that's completely okay. Um, it's just my perspective at the end of the day. I don't speak on behalf of the whole trans community. I speak on behalf of my experience and what I know. So I hope you found something interesting in this video. And yeah, I will see you soon next time.